Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 25th, 2024. From the book of Colossians, Sharing in Christ's Suffering, A Path to Joy. Now previously we heard about the importance of remaining steadfast in the Christian faith. The devotional explored the significance of having a stable foundation, rooted in Christ and not shifting from the hope of the gospel. It reminded us of the universal nature of this hope and challenged us to examine our own faith journey. The reflection concluded by encouraging believers to rely on God's strength to remain anchored in the gospel promises. So, let's continue with the book of Colossians. From Colossians chapter 1, verse 24. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, that is, the church. Now I will confess, at first glance, this verse might seem a little perplexing. How can Paul rejoice in his sufferings? What could possibly be lacking in Christ's affl afflictions? In order to understand this, we must delve deeper into the context and meaning behind Paul's words. Paul's joy in suffering stems from his profound understanding of his role in God's plan of salvation. You see, he recognizes that his hardships are not meaningless, but serve a greater purpose, the edification and growth of the church. By enduring trials for the sake of others, Paul participates in the ongoing work of Christ, bringing the gospel to those who need it most. So when Paul speaks of filling up what is lacking in Christ's affliction, he does not imply that Christ's sacrifice was incomplete or insufficient. On the contrary, we believe that Christ's death on the cross was the full and final atonement for our sins. So, Paul refers to what's going on with the application of Christ's redemptive work in the world. As members of Christ's body, we are called to continue his mission on earth. This includes not only proclaiming the gospel, but also bearing the burdens and sufferings that come with it. In this sense, we are filled up. What is lacking? Not the efficacy of Christ's sacrifice, but in its proclamation and demonstration to a world in need. So Paul's words remind us that suffering for the sake of the gospel is not something to be avoided nor lamented, but rather an opportunity to draw closer to Christ and participate in his redemptive work. When we face hardships in our service to God and his people, we can find comfort and even joy in knowing that we are following in the footsteps of our Savior. It's this perspective that transforms our understanding of suffering. Instead of seeing it as a sign of God's absence or displeasure, we can recognize it as a means by which God works through us to build up His church. Our afflictions become a testament to the power of the gospel and the reality of Christ's presence in our lives. Moreover, Paul's example encourages us to shift our focus from our own comfort to the welfare of others. By willingly enduring hardships for the sake of the church, we demonstrate Christ's sacrificial love and contribute to the spiritual growth of our brothers and sisters in the faith. So as we remember this verse, let us consider how we might embrace this mindset in our own lives. Are we willing to endure discomfort, rejection, 
or even persecution for the sake of sharing the gospel? Can we find joy in the knowledge that our sufferings are not in vain, but serve to strengthen and encourage the body of Christ? May we, like Paul, learn to rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that through them we participate in Christ's ongoing work of redemption and reconciliation. So let us take comfort in the assurance that our labor in the Lord is never in vain, and that even in our weaknesses and trials, God's power is made perfect. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.